binary search tree. In computer science, binary search trees, BST, sometimes called ordered or sorted binary trees, are a particular type of container, data structures that store items, such as numbers, names etc., in memory. They allow fast lookup, addition and removal of items, and can be used to implement either dynamic sets of items, or lookup tables that allow finding an item by its key, for example, finding the phone number of a person by name. Binary search trees keep their keys in sorted order, so that lookup and other operations can use the principle of binary search. When looking for a key in a tree or a place to insert a new key, they traverse the tree from root to leaf, making comparisons to keys stored in the nodes of the tree and deciding, on the basis of the comparison, to continue searching in the left or right subtrees. On average, this means that each comparison allows the operations to skip about half of the tree, so that each lookup, insertion or deletion takes time proportional to the logarithm of the number of items stored in the tree. This is much better than the linear time required to find items by key in an unsorted array, but slower than the corresponding operations on hash tables. Several variants of the binary search tree have been studied in computer science. This article deals primarily with the basic type, making references to more advanced types when appropriate. A binary search tree is a rooted binary tree, whose internal nodes each store a key, and optionally, an associated value, and each have two distinguished subtrees, commonly denoted left and right. The tree additionally satisfies the binary search property, which states that the key in each node must be greater than or equal to any key stored in the left subtree, and less than or equal to any key stored in the right subtree. The leaves, final nodes, of the tree contain no key and have no structure to distinguish them from one another. Frequently, the information represented by each node is a record rather than a single data element. However, for sequencing purposes, nodes are compared according to their keys rather than any part of their associated records. The major advantage of binary search trees over other data structures is that the related sorting algorithms and search algorithms such as in order traversal can be very efficient. They are also easy to code. Binary search trees are a fundamental data structure used to construct more abstract data structures such as sets, multisets, and associative arrays. Binary search requires an order relation by which every element, item, can be compared with every other element in the sense of a total preorder. The part of the element which effectively takes place in the comparison is called its key. Whether duplicates, i.e., different elements with same key, shall be allowed in the tree or not does not depend on the order relation, but on the application only. In the context of binary search trees a total preorder is realized most flexibly by means of a three-way comparison subroutine. Binary search trees support three main operations, insertion of elements, deletion of elements, and lookup, checking whether a key is present. Searching a binary search tree for a specific key can be programmed recursively or iteratively. We begin by examining the root node. If the tree is null, the key we are searching for does not exist in the tree. Otherwise, if the key equals that of the root, the search is successful and we return the node. If the key is less than that of the root, we search the left subtree. Similarly, if the key is greater than that of root, we search the right subtree. This process is repeated until the key is found or the remaining subtree is null. If the searched key is not found after an else subtree is reached, then the key is not present in the tree. This is easily expressed as a recursive algorithm, implemented in Python. The same algorithm can be implemented iteratively. These two examples rely on the order relation being a total order. If the order relation is only a total preorder, a reasonable extension of the functionality is the following. Also, in case of equality, search down to the leave sign a direction specified by the user. A binary tree sort equipped with such a comparison function becomes stable. Because in the worst case this algorithm must search from the root of the tree to the leaf farthest from the root, the search operation takes time proportional to the tree's height, see tree terminology. On average, binary search trees with nodes have height. However, in the worst case, binary search trees can have height, when the unbalanced tree resembles a linked list, to generate tree. Insertion begins as a search would begin, if the key is not equal to that of the root. We search the left or right subtrees as before. Eventually, we will reach an external node and add the new key value pair, here encoded as a record new node, as its right or left child, depending on the node's key. In other words, we examine the root and recursively insert the new node to the left subtree if its key is less than that of the root, or the right subtree if its key is greater than or equal to the root.
script. Here's how a typical binary search tree insertion might be performed in a binary tree in C++. The above destructive procedural variant modifies the tree in place. It uses only constant heap space, and the iterative version uses constant stack space as well, but the prior version of the tree is lost. Alternatively, as in the following Python example, we can reconstruct all ancestors of the inserted node, any reference to the original tree root remains valid, making the tree a persistent data structure. The part that is rebuilt uses space in the average case and in the worst case. In either version, this operation requires time proportional to the height of the tree in the worst case, which is time in the average case over all trees, but time in the worst case. Another way to explain insertion is that in order to insert a new node in the tree, its key is first compared with that of the root. If its key is less than the roots, it is then compared with the key of the root's left child. If its key is greater, it is compared with the root's right child. This process continues until the new node is compared with the leaf node, and then it is added as this node's right or left child, depending on its key. If the key is less than the leaf's key, then it is inserted as the leaf's left child, otherwise as the leaf's right child. There are other ways of inserting nodes into a binary tree. But this is the only way of inserting nodes at the leaves and at the same time preserving the BSD structure. When removing a node from a binary search tree it is mandatory to maintain the in-order sequence of the nodes. There are many possibilities to do this. However, the following method which has been proposed by T. Hibbert in 1962 guarantees that the heights of the subject subtrees are changed by at most one. There are three possible cases to consider in all cases, when D happens to be the root, make the replacement node root again. Broadly speaking, nodes with children are harder to delete. As with all binary trees, a node's in order successor is its right subtree's leftmost child, and a node's in order predecessor is the left subtree's rightmost child. In either case, this node will have only one or no child at all. Delete it according to one of the two simpler cases above. Consistently using the in order successor or the in order predecessor for every instance of the two child case can lead to an unbalanced tree. So some implementations select one or the other at different times. Runtime analysis, although this operation does not always traverse the tree down to a leaf, this is always a possibility, thus in the worst case it requires time proportional to the height of the tree. It does not require more even when the node has two children, since it still follows a single path and does not visit any node twice. Once the binary search tree has been created, its elements can be retrieved in order by recursively traversing the left subtree of the root node, accessing the node itself, then recursively traversing the right subtree of the node, continuing this pattern with each node in the tree as it's recursively accessed. As with all binary trees, one may conduct a pre-order traversal or a post-order traversal, but neither are likely to be useful for binary search trees. And an order traversal of a binary search tree will always result in a sorted list of node items, numbers, strings, or other comparable items. The code for an order traversal in Python is given below. It will call callback, some function the programmer wishes to call on the node's value, such as printing to the screen, for every node in the tree. Traversal requires time, since it must visit every node. This algorithm is also, so it is asymptotically optimal. Traversal can also be implemented iteratively. For certain applications, for example greater equal search, approximative search, an operation for single step, Iterative traversal can be very useful. This is, of course, implemented without the callback constructing takes on average and in the worst case. Sometimes we already have a binary tree, and we need to determine whether it is a BST. This problem has a simple recursive solution. The BST property, every node on the right subtree has to be larger than the current node and every node on the left subtree has to be smaller than the current node, is the key to figuring out whether a tree is a BST or not. The greedy algorithm, simply traverse the tree, at every node check whether the node contains a value larger than the value at the left child and smaller than the value on the right child, does not work for all cases. Consider the following tree. In the tree above, each node meets the condition that the node contains a value larger than its left child and smaller than its right child hold, and yet it is not a BST. The value 5 is on the right subtree of the node containing 20, a violation of the BST property. Instead of making a decision based solely on the values of a node and its children, we also need information flowing down from the parent as well. In the case of the tree above, if we could remember about the node containing the value 20, we would see that the node with value 5 is violating the BSD property contract. 
correct, so the condition we need to check at each node is. A recursive solution in C++ can explain this further Cody say underscore 1 and Cody say underscore 2 are done to allow only distinct elements in BST. If we want same elements to also be present, then we can use only Cody say underscore 3 in both places. The initial call to this function can be something like this. Essentially we keep creating a valid range, starting from, min underscore value, max underscore value, and keep shrinking it down for each node as we go down recursively. As pointed out in section hashtag traversal, an in order traversal of a binary search tree returns the nodes sorted. Thus we only need to keep the last visited node while traversing the tree and check whether its key is smaller, or smaller slash equal, if duplicates are to be allowed in the tree, compared to the current key. A binary search tree can be used to implement a simple sorting algorithm. Similar to heap sort, we insert all the values we wish to sort into a new ordered data structure, in this case a binary search tree, and then traverse it in order. The worst case time of Cody say underscore 4 is if you feed it a sorted list of values, it chains them into a linked list with no left subtrees. For example, Cody say underscore 5 yields the tree Cody say underscore 6. There are several schemes for overcoming this flaw with simple binary trees, the most common is the self-balancing binary search tree. If this same procedure is done using such a tree, the overall worst case time is, which is asymptotically optimal for a comparison sort. In practice, the added overhead in time and space for a tree-based sort, particularly for node allocation, make it inferior to other asymptotically optimal sorts such as heap sort for static list sorting. On the other hand, it is one of the most efficient methods of incremental sorting, adding items to a list over time while keeping the list sorted at all times. Binary search trees can serve as priority queues, structures that allow insertion of arbitrary key as well as lookup and deletion of the minimum, or maximum key. Insertion works as previously explained. Feynman walks the tree, following left pointers as far as it can without hitting a leaf. Feynmax is analogous, follow right pointers as far as possible. Delete min, max, can simply look up the minimum, maximum, then delete it. Dot this way, insertion and deletion both take logarithmic time, just as they do in a binary heap, but unlike a binary heap and most other priority queue implementations, a single tree can support all of find min, find max, delete min and delete max at the same time, making binary search trees suitable as double ended priority queues. There are many types of binary search trees. AVL trees and red black trees are both forms of self balancing binary search trees. A splay tree is a binary search tree that automatically moves frequently accessed elements nearer to the root. In a treep, tree heap, each node also holds a randomly chosen priority and the parent node has higher priority than its children. Tango trees are trees optimized for fast searches. T trees are binary search trees optimized to reduce storage space overhead, widely used for in memory databases. A degenerate tree is a tree where for each parent node, there is only one associated child node. It is unbalanced and, in the worst case, performance degrades to that of a linked list. If your add node function does not handle rebalancing, then you can easily construct a degenerate tree by feeding it with data that is already sorted. What this means is that in a performance measurement, the tree will essentially behave like a linked list data structure. D. A. Haga, 2004 presented a performance comparison of binary search trees. Treep was found to have the best average performance, while red-black tree was found to have the smallest amount of performance variations. If we do not plan on modifying a search tree, and we know exactly how often each item will be accessed, we can construct an optimal binary search tree, which is a search tree where the average cost of looking up an item, the expected search cost, is minimized. Even if we only have estimates of the search costs, such a system can considerably speed up lookups on average. For example, if you have a BST of English word system a spell checker, you might balance the tree based on word frequency and text corpora, placing words like the near the root and words like ageration age near the leaves. Such a tree might be compared with Huffman trees, which similarly seek to place frequently used items near the root in order to produce a dense information encoding. However, Huffman trees store data elements only in leaves, and these elements need not be ordered. If we do not know the sequence in which the elements in the tree will be accessed in advance, we can use splay trees which are asymptotically as good as any static search tree we can construct for any particular sequence of lookup operations. Alphabetic trees are Huffman trees with the additional constraint on order, or, equivalently, 
search trees with the modification that all elements are stored in the leaves. Faster algorithms exist for optimal alphabetic binary trees. Odds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.